Okay, I'm going to keep going. Um, I did make a false start, which was I um, wanted to update you on what I've been doing in the last few days. As you know, um, this is episode number four on Gigi's making an audiobook out of Worry Less Now. Um, I've bought the equipment, I've tested the software program, and since I did the last uh, recording, I have gotten into figuring out more about the logistics. So first I wanted to say that, um, I don't know if you're like me, but there are times when I have a project that I've been procrastinating on, and uh, so I don't want to do that one, but I pick another one that I'd rather do instead. And I've learned to kind of take advantage of this in myself. So today I was going to do those Christmas cards, got out of bed, was going to do it. And then I got reading all about this recording of the audiobook and so on and came into my office and made some real progress. So after this, I need to go work on my Christmas cards. So there are two big developments. Number one, all that reading I've been doing um, showed me that I had bought the wrong microphone. Some people use that blue snowball, but apparently there's another kind that is better, more sturdy, not much more expensive, and um, doesn't pick up as much extraneous noise. So I purchased the Audio Technica, which is uh, looks like this. Looks more like a, a real microphone, and I've been testing it, and I did make a, a little recording today. So that's one development. And the other one was, as I started listening to all these, um, you know, podcasts and videos and so on and reading, I realized that you take the, probably the word files of your manuscript and you create a reading script that you will use while you're recording the book. And if there are things that don't lend themselves well to reading out loud, you create a companion book in my case. And in my case, it's going to be called a workbook. Because in my book, 50 Ways to Worry Less Now, we have um, quite a few little exercises like this. And some of them lend themselves to just listening and doing it, and other ones really need pencil and paper. So that means um, I started thinking about that and reading about it this morning, and I thought, oh, I think I'll go and see if I can find those, you know, download those Word files from uh, the last iteration of my book, and then uh, see if I can create one for reading and another one for the workbook, which I think is what I'm going to call the companion materials. The upside is that you can use the workbook along with people who buy the regular book because sometimes people don't like to write in their book, so they don't want to have it in a separate journal, and so they have a workbook with all the directions in it. So I'm hoping the same workbook will work for the supplementary materials with the audiobook and as a companion to the real book. So I um, got on my computer and I started uh, creating these files. And uh, let's see, I don't think I need to show them to you, but basically you have to take the Word file and figure out what's readable and how am I going to read that. And, you know, if there's a reference to a certain table or something that's in the workbook, you have to change the language. So um, I went through and did that with the preface and chapter one, and then I started creating the workbook also. So that was kind of fun. And then I took my new microphone and I made a test recording, and I think you'll be able to hear it. Um, I don't know why my phone's not turning around, but I'm going to show it to you this way. So that's my audacity program with the recording in it and um, now we can play it medically tune into the worry and fear channel are you suffering from worry about relationship difficulties family issues excessive eating overworking ongoing pain illness financial woe 
ta-da! <laughs> so that is not how I will actually read the book um, into the microphone. That's more me playing around to figure out how to edit it and how to get the volumes right and test out the microphone and hook it up to my computer. But um, the next thing will be creating, continuing to create those two Word files for reading in the workbook. And then also to get some uh, training on how do you read, especially like a self-help book, how do you narrate it in a way that's engaging and interesting and understandable? So clearly I have some work to do on that front and that will be probably what I'll be reporting to you next. So uh, I hope you all have a wonderful holiday weekend. Most of you are launched on it. If you celebrate Christmas, have a wonderful Christmas and I'll probably be posting another video before the new year. So thanks for listening. Take care.